Perfect Square by Michael Hall. It was a perfect square. It had four matching corners and four equal sides. And it was perfectly happy. But on Monday, the square was cut into pieces and poked full of holes. It wasn't perfectly square anymore. So it made itself into a fountain that bubbled and giggled and clapped. On Tuesday, the square was torn into scraps. So it made itself into a garden. On Wednesday, the square was shredded in strips. So it made itself into a park. On Thursday, the square was shattered. So it made itself into a bridge. On Friday, the square was snipped into ribbons. So it made itself into a river. On Saturday, the square was crumpled and ripped and wrinkled. So it made itself into a mountain. On Sunday, the square waited to see what was next. It waited and waited. Nothing happened. Its four equal sides were confining. Its four matching corners were rigid and cramped. So it made itself into a window that looked out on a mountain, that gave birth to a river, that was crossed by a bridge, that led to a park, that was home to a garden, that had at its centre a fountain, that bubbled and giggled and clapped. Let's begin. What you will need? You will need two different coloured sheets of paper, glue, a pair of scissors, markers and a pencil. Start by cutting the paper into smaller pieces. You can also tear the paper, wrinkle the paper, scrunch it. Next, arrange the pieces into a picture. It can be a flower, it can be a tree, a robot, a house. Next, glue the pieces onto the second paper. Lastly, using pencil or markers if you want it colourful, add more details to your picture. 